agree. So if somebody says, well, you know, Donald Trump will probably be better for my 401k than Joe Biden, even though Moody's and others on Wall Street suggest that's really not the case because we'll have stability mm. in the White House. We'll have stability in the markets. We'll have stability in trade negotiations. We'll have stability across the globe. Uh, but even if they make that argument, so, you know, the 401k maybe went down 20% this year. Are they saying that electing a president who's trying to arrest his political opponent in America mm -hmm. two weeks before an election, mm -hmm. are they saying that maybe they'd lose 25% of their 401k under Biden, but 20% under Trump, and that 5% is worth throwing away American democracy on a guy who claims to have unlimited powers because of Article 2, a guy that questions uh, the federal judiciary's independence, and a guy who is trying the best he can to have his political opponent arrested two weeks before a free election. And let me remind you all, my friends and loved ones, in the United States of America, not in Belarus, yeah. Not in Hungary, not in Russia, in the United States of America. What, what is worth that? I, I, you know, I, I, I've heard also, Mika, this, this other excuse. The press is liberal. So, okay, so you're, you're voting for a guy who's trying to arrest his political opponent because you don't like what Don Lemon says on CNN? <laughs> you're... you're you want to appoint a man who says he has unlimited powers and can do whatever he wants to do and calls for the arrests of journalists who question him like Jeff Mason and also, well, like me, repeatedly. You're going to vote for him because Lawrence O'Donnell makes you mad because you don't like the New York Times? Uh, it, it's, again, it, it really, there is no logic to it. This is you desperately trying to justify something that you know can't really rationally be justified. I haven't even gotten to the racism, to the Muslim registry, to the president calling Hispanics breeders. I haven't even gotten to that. I haven't even gotten to Charlottesville, to the president telling white supremacists to, quote, stand by, to the president talking about assassinating his political rivals with Second Amendment solutions to stop them from appointing judges to the Supreme Court. Haven't even gotten through four or five years of violent rhetoric. I haven't even talked about the President of the United States saying that he would not guarantee, repeatedly in debates, the peaceful transfer of power. He did eventually, after the fifth or sixth time. Not really. But, yeah, it's always sort of, oh, yeah, sure, sure, I'll Talk guarantee that, there. but what about Antifa? What about this? What about that? And so I haven't even, even talked about all of those things. And you add it up. This is a man, and you know this, would be an autocrat if he could. Well. Would be a dictator if he could. You know that. You said that to me. Many of you have said you know that if he loses, he can't leave America. Because our government would be afraid that he would sell state secrets, our most classified secrets, to other countries. Some of you tell me you think he's going to end up in jail. But you're going to vote for him anyway. Uh, you know, I'm Tom Hanks in big. I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, you're, you're, I don't get it. You're my, you're my best friends. You're my family members. And you're going to believe garbage that you read on Facebook. They don't even care that you still he accused you of murder, murder 11 tried times. to get you investigated. You, you still are telling me, even though I've told you repeatedly it's a lie and sent you evidence you're still saying you may not take a vaccine next year because Anthony Fauci has a financial stake in it. That's just a lie. And I love you, but you have to be really, really stupid 
are willfully ignorant if you still believe that lie, because it's not the truth. You just send Facebook uh, uh, posts to each other that that exacerbate these lies. Facebook. It's it's really it's something, but but yeah, Mika, but. Well, this is what Madeleine Albright warned about. It's the fire hose of corruption and ugliness that comes at you from a person with so much power like President Trump who can turn this country into a very different place. Well, it, it, and this is a challenge. This is a challenge for a democracy. It Again, is. I'm not talking about people over there. No. I'm talking about friends and loved ones, again, who oh, we got it. would give their lives for, for me, for, for my family. Um, and yet, they're still voting for me. It's something, again, I, I, I'm reminded, and you know, Willie and I often, on Friday nights when, you know, you're out with your bowling league, Mika, <laughs> Willie and I often get together, and uh, you and Christina are bowling, and <laughs> we'll sit and we'll watch a river run through it, oh. and we'll weep at the end when Tom Skerritt says that sometimes we have to completely love those we don't completely understand and that's what i work on every day now <laughs> especially for the next two weeks okay really what part of river run through it why don't you tell them the no, part that makes you weep the most you were doing really I, well when brad pitt falls asleep in the sun by the river i think that's oh. a lot of fun that makes me weep every, every time that is, that's a great movie, along with joe willie and me every